one. This is all like the one here. Welcome to another video. Um, before I get into the gear side of things, I just want to give a couple of shout outs. I um, want to give a shout out to Fog FOG360, Fog360. Um, he's a bushcrafter and has been a YouTuber for a while. And he's uh, opened up his own um, discussion board forum. Um, if you look at the bottom underneath the video, um, there's a link to the to his website. Um, please uh, subscribe and check him out and join up, become a member. He's a good bushcrafter, knows what he's talking about, and uh, lots of good hints and tips there. Also, um, another shout out to Jedi Knight of the Woods. Equally, he's got his own forum now, or more of a a blog actually. Again, check the bottom of the video and uh, there's a link to to his blog there. Um, lots of discussions on kits and uh, techniques, bushcraft techniques, survival etc. Right so yeah just a shout out to a couple of other people. i um, like to give a shout out to the Jeebus. Hello my friend, hope you're doing well over there in Argentina. Um, also, long time no hear from my friend Stripey McCapus. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Right, now let's get into what you've all been waiting for, no doubt. Um, as you know, I've been carrying these items here for several years now. This is my ITP flashlight good high quality very simple easy to operate EDC stroke even survival light I'd say to some extent I've got this running on uh, lithium batteries gives you a real blinding uh, beam uh, good throw on this up to a hundred meters or so and has various modes but that's not um, really relevant but that's the flashlight that I've got there and over here this is my new little toy. I love this thing. As you know, my Falkniven F1, that's been my cherished knife for about two years now. I love this thing. My girlfriend got it for me for Christmas a couple of years back, and it's been my main outdoors blade ever since. Uh, previously, I was carrying it in a custom leather sheath that I had made up, uh, which worked really well too. Um, but I just thought for longevity, I just wanted something made out of Kydex and also because I'm always bushcrafting or most of the time bushcrafting in the UK, it's usually raining, I don't like my leather getting wet, etc. Um, equally here, I've got my Silo Scientific Aurora Ferrocium Firestarter, real nice little unit there. So this custom Kydex sheath was made up for me by a friend of mine and uh, he did a really excellent job, better than I'd hoped for to be honest. Um, let's just remove the blade quickly. Also he did a nice little polished job on the, on the blade for me as well. So uh, really a silky smooth cutting for anything at the moment. Also furnished me with a reflective paracord lanyard. Uh, you know, I always like to have a lanyard when I'm cutting, and if you're hanging at funny angles, then you know if it drops out of your hand, it's not going onto bits of rock that can chip the blade. As to the sheath itself sits uh, in the small of my back on my right hand side I'm right handed so it provides really easy access to it and is very close to the body and discreet the blade sits in there very snugly I've whipped it all around and definitely it will not fall out the Aurora Ferrocium Striker sits very snugly in its holster also as you can see it's a survival item so 
will definitely not come out but that's just kept secure in there apart from the actual friction against the kydex it's also kept secure with this elasticated loop which fixes over itself to keep the fire steel secure in there the fire steel loop holder as you can see is removable so if you want even a more low profile sheath you can just remove that and then this sheath will fit even better in a pocket and this does actually as is fit in a jeans pocket a normal jeans pocket very nicely got some two IWB bands keeping the sheath very secure against the body another great feature is these pull the dot openings which means that you have to pull it from the direction of the dot as you can see there's a small dot there on the bottom the purpose of these buttons is so obviously the pressure is coming from this side as it sits on your belt if the sheath is pulled away from you for any reason so they can't be undone from this side you literally have to open them from the side of the button again these can be removed if I wish to just carry the absolute minimal of just the sheath and the knife and the last piece I have made is this holster for the ITP light if you have a review of this flashlight on my channel I highly recommend this I've had this one for about four years now and it's still my main kind of survival light wired class as a survival light anyway the holster just sits on the belt has a rubberized belt loop here which is very very tough and definitely will not break under any circumstances the torch sits mounted upwards again I carry this in the small of my back on my left side Also, there is a drainage hole on the sheath there, as you can see. So obviously, this all. So obviously, this allows me to carry these essential wide deem as survival items on my belt at all times which allows me obviously quick and easy access to all of them but also more importantly allows them to always be on my person securely in a way that I know will not come undone or loose in any way so I don't end up losing any of these vital components of my survival kit I only just got these a couple of days ago so I haven't field tested them yet but I've worn them around the house for a few hours and they're feeling comfortable so far and from the looks and feel of things I think uh, they're set to last I'll be sure to give you an update as to how these progress uh, when I get a chance to use them going out so this is the All Outdoor One Kydex Spectacular hope you've enjoyed you guys take care thanks for watching Please be sure to check out my other channel, Alpha Bushcraft, and also check out my website, alphabushcraft.co.uk. So yeah, this has been the Kydex Spectacular. Huh. Hope you've uh, enjoyed. This is All Outdoor One, signing out for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.